Let's switch gears for a moment. And hundreds of students expecting to join Form 1 tomorrow could be turned back after the government insisted that only those registered in its online portal will be admitted. The government has insisted that those who secured transfers from schools they were initially placed must seek approvals. But, as Enoch Sekolia reports, many head teachers are yet to meet the ministry's order. Monday will be a busy day for secondary schools countrywide as they welcome students who sat for the KCP examinations last year. But as parents and students put in final touches ahead of time, confusion still lingers over the directive by the ministry that students will be placed according to the National Education Management System, NEMIS, and those with admission letters outside the system will be locked out. According to guidelines released by the ministry, registration of students once they arrive in school must be done online through the NEMIS system. In the memo signed by basic education peers, Belio Kipsang, teachers are required to search the name of the student and will only be able to proceed to the next step if the name shows up in the online portal. This means thousands whose names are yet to be keyed into the system will not be able to register on the first day. Everything needed to be uh, captured in the system and that's why now uh, it has been agreed that all parents, all principals who may have issued letters in advance regularize the process. After feeling dissatisfied with the schools their children had been placed under NEMIS, some parents opted to secure slots in different or preferred schools through the back door. Initially, the government had first directed head teachers to recall the admission letters, but later engaged a reverse gear allowing students who had switched schools to seek government approval through NEMIS. And Muli explains how it was to be done. So once the parents have placed their requests and the principal feels he is able to uh, assist this parent change the student's school, the principal makes uh, a request for admission through the system. The Ministry of Education uh, will approve such movement. And upon approval, the name of the student is removed from school A where he had been admitted and put in school B. According to ministry data, details of 36,026 students had been keyed into the system by Sunday, 10,000 more compared to Saturday. It is however not clear how many more are yet to be approved. According to the ministry, however, only those joining county, extra county and national schools are affected by the directive. 700,000 students are supposed to go to sub-county schools. The ministry says they are insisting on NEMIS to help hospitals identify and retrieve data of learners when using the National Hospital Insurance Fund, enable ministry to track reporting and enrolling of students to allow for 100% transition as get accurate details of the number of students per school to facilitate accurate distribution of free day secondary education. The system is also meant to track transfer of students between schools. I want to allay any fears that um, the, the changes that are being made, children are going to be locked out. No, the system is for the good of both the parent, the child, the principal and the nation at large. For the nation, it will give them the opportunity to know accurate numbers of students who have joined Form 1 in 2019. Enoch Sikolia, Citizen TV.